What's up, you friggin' geniuses? So, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find equivalent fractions with a specific denominator. Okay, so for example, let's say we had two over seven, and you were asked to find an equivalent fraction where the denominator is 21. How would you figure out what number goes up here? Well, it's not too bad. One thing to remember about equivalent fractions is that they're equal to each other. So, keeping that in mind, how can we get from 7 to 21? Well, if we multiply the bottom right here, 7, by 3, that would give us 21, right? But remember, with equivalent fractions, you have to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number. So if we're going to multiply by 3 down here, we also have to multiply by 3 up here. Okay, so what's 2 times 3? That's equal to 6. Okay, so 2 sevenths is equal to 6 over 21. That would be your equivalent fraction. Let's try a couple more. Okay, so this time, let's say you were trying to find an equivalent fraction to 5 eighths, but you wanted your equivalent fraction to have a denominator of 64. How would you do this? Well, all you have to figure out is how to go from here to here, okay? So to go from 8 to 64, what would we have to multiply by? Well, we would have to multiply by 8, right? Because 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Okay, but remember, for equivalent fractions, you have to multiply the bottom and the top by the same number. So if we're gonna multiply by eight down here, we also have to multiply by eight up here, okay? So what's five times eight? That would be 40. Okay, so five eighths is equivalent to 40 over 64. Let's try one more. So now let's say you were given the fraction 1 12th, and you wanted to find an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 36. Well, again, all you have to do in this case is figure out how to go from 12 to 36. So what can you multiply by 12 to get 36? Well, you can multiply 3, right? Because 12 times 3 is equal to 36, okay? So if we're multiplying by 3 on the bottom, we got to multiply by 3 on the top. And then 1 times 3 is equal to 3, okay? So 1 12th and 3 over 36 are equivalent fractions. All right, guys, so that's how you find equivalent fractions with a specific denominator. I hope the examples were helpful. If they were, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need to check out, definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.